2017, a self-proclaimed magic man named Lim Ba partook in an unbelievable stunt. He crawled inside of a large wok, had a pot placed over his body, and a fire lit beneath. And it wasn't the first time. He referred to it as human steaming, and he had been performing it for a decade. This particular time, he had a huge audience. People showed up to watch in person, and a camera captured it all from start to finish on live stream. For the first 25 minutes or so, all was silent inside of the walk. There was vague chatting from people in the background and crackling of the fire. Then the performance took a startling turn. Flustered rapping was heard on the metal pan. After a few confused moments, people rushed to his aid and lifted it up. He was completely limp as plumes of steam billowed out. Lim Ba was pulled from the piping hot walk, but he was unresponsive. He had obvious thermal burns covering his entire body. Additionally, he suffered a fatal heart attack, likely exacerbated by the catecholamines his body released due to his injuries. Every child deserves parents, but not all parents deserve a child, and this is a stunning example of that. On January 22, 2017, 14-year-old Naika Vinat went live on Facebook for a little over three hours. She had recently reached out to her caseworker about how distraught she was over her mother not wanting her back. Her mother had surrendered her to foster care and had a history of abusing Naika. She allegedly told her that she was going to age out of the foster care system. Hundreds of people tuned into her live. One of these people was her mother, but she didn't just watch. She joined the chat and began spitting hateful taunts. She called her expletive names and accused her of crying wolf. She also said, you dead, you will get buried. Life goes on. On top of all of that, she taunted her for being in foster care. It was all too much for Naika to bear. At the end of her live, while the camera was still on, she unalived herself. Her mother didn't bother to call for help. What she did do was try to sue DCFS after, claiming it was their fault. This past June, Facebook comedian Tyrell Smith went live while sitting outside on a sunny morning. He was very well known in his hometown and garnered a large audience for his Facebook live streams. His particular brand of comedy was seen as controversial and it created a few enemies along the way, including another local family. On that morning, he engaged in a heated argument with a man from that family who entered the live. This particular man had already threatened Tyrell several times, and he appeared to just brush it off. Sometime later, Tyrell is heard saying, We've got some action. He likely noticed a vehicle pulling up to his home. He stood up, and moments later, gunshots are heard ringing out one after the next. The camera drops to the ground, capturing the sky as a man from his family finds him bleeding out. He was struck multiple times. First responders rushed him to a nearby hospital, but his injuries were fatal. Okay, we got action. We got action. <laughs> In September of 2020, beloved Tibetan influencer who went by the username Lamu felt that she was safe at her father's home. Like she often did, she decided to live stream to her hundreds of thousands of fans. What followed was an absolute nightmare. Just months prior, she was granted a divorce from her former husband, Tang Lu. He had grown volatile, scary, and violent. Getting that divorce was no easy feat. She faced a mandatory waiting period. That coupled with the fact that domestic violence had only recently become criminalized meant that it wasn't going to be easy to get out. But she did it. Sadly, people like Tang Lu often become even more of a threat once their victim breaks free. While she was at her father's home feeling completely safe talking to her many followers, he broke into the home. In a matter of a few blinks, he doused her in petrol and lit her on fire. Her fans watched in absolute horror, unable to do a thing to stop their real-life nightmare. She was completely powerless. Once help finally arrived and extinguished the flames, she had already sustained severe burns to over 90% of her body and was barely holding on. She was rushed to the hospital but died two weeks later. 
one can only hope that she wasn't at all conscious throughout that period. Her ex-husband was arrested and swiftly sentenced to death. This past August, 31-year-old Janie Podesclo conducted a haunting live stream. She appeared distraught and covered in what appeared to be fresh blood. She proceeded to say, I'm done. My children are dead. The father of her four-year-old daughter and two-year-old son rushed to her home to try and save his kids. What he found was a nightmare. Both children had been brutally stabbed, but were still hanging on. He rushed them to his vehicle, but the little girl collapsed. She died as a result of her injuries. According to court records and social media, the mother was upset that the children's father was moving on. They were dealing with a messy custody battle. She was arrested and is awaiting trial on multiple charges, including homicide and attempted homicide. I'm done! I'm done! And it's all Jermaine's fault! It's always Jermaine's fault! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done. In 2018, jealous ex Jonathan Robinson busted through the door of Renita Williams' home. At gunpoint, he forced her to go live on her brother's Facebook to make an apology to his current girlfriend. All because he couldn't handle the fact that Renita had met someone new. When he started stalking her, she called him out for it on her own live stream, and his current girlfriend saw. After she made the apology, he shot and killed the 27-year-old mother of three, all while police were surrounding the home. Okay. Pull up. Pull up. Uh huh. She no. It was just. I'm, I apologize because I couldn't go go live on my phone. My page. My my phone. My page is blocked. This wanna be famous. I'ma make a famous. No. You wanna be famous? I'ma make you famous. No. No. Everybody want to be famous, let's be famous today. Okay. Huh? I do. Yes. You telling you I get on these bitches never? No. Game over. 